Hey, this is Mark with The Practical Still. We're going back to the bottle on the 2021 Four Roses Limited Edition Small Batch Whiskey. It is delicious. It was delicious the moment I opened it. It has gotten more deliciouser since we started drinking on it. There's not that much gone. I kind of checked up. I opened it with a group of friends, uh, one of whom uh, uh, drank it while he was eating some pizza. But whatever. If that made him happy, it made him happy. Uh, but it was pretty apparent very quickly this was going to be a special bottle. Always wanted one, never had a chance to buy it. Um, I will say this. Now, we all know from listening to these videos, I just won't pay secondary prices for whiskey. There's just other stuff I can drink that I enjoy. This may be an exception for two reasons. One, it is fabulous. I, I'm going to say it's probably my new favorite whiskey ever. Scotch, rye, bourbon, you name it, this is kind of it. And the other reason is it doesn't bring a crazy multiple. Double retails a lot, but you, this is a $200 bottle that you can buy on the secondary for $350 to $400. I don't think I'd pay that much for it. I think I might draw the line. But if somebody said, you know, here's one, it's $300, bucks, i would have a hard time saying no. This is absolutely delicious whiskey. And as a reminder, this is four of Four Roses' 10 different recipes. Um, it's made up of 12, uh, some 12 year old, some 14 and some uh, 16. I'll put the link to the open the bottle video and in that description it outlines all the different uh, OBSKs and whatever's in there. I've never been enough of a Four Roses fan to remember all that stuff. I do always like their whiskey. This is the one, this is the one that I'd stretch for this one. It's cast strength. So this is 57.1%. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's just delicious. I don't even know what to say. I wish I had, you know, I feel like it's a little bit wasted on me. I wish I had a palate that could tease all those things out. I just don't. There's just a ton going on. It's, it's both floral and fruity. It's sweet. There's a, just a lovely sweet oak to it, which I'm sure is owed to that 16-year-old whiskey. But how do you get 16-year-old whiskey that, it could be over oaked at that point. Maybe it's the 12 and the 14 that's in there with it. Holy smoke, is it good. When we opened it, I tasted it up against the Four Roses Small Batch Select, which is a $60 bottle, which to me is one of the best bottles under $100 bucks you could buy of bourbon. And by itself, it's a fabulous bottle. Up to this guy, unfortunately, it kind of paled in comparison, but you know, it should. That This is $200, bucks, that's 60 This has got up to 16-year-old whiskey, that's six years old. It's all really good, but if you get a chance for one of these, you can't pass it up. If you have to stretch a little past retail in a bottle, this is the one that I, I would do it on. Um, frankly, I hope I don't. I hope I don't have to make that decision because I don't need to spend that much money on whiskey, but holy smoke, is it good. It's so good. I mean, it's just everything you want. The nose is just intoxicating. It coats the entire palate. It's this burst of fruit once it's set there for a second. I've played with this. The finish lasts forever. If I don't take another sip of this, you know, when I lay down to go to bed tonight, I won't want to brush my teeth because I'll still be tasting that whiskey. It's just that good. And I wish it wasn't because... I shouldn't be tempted to pay that much for whiskey. I paid 200 for this, which I believe is retail. Um, but it's the first time. It's the first time I'd stretch. It's, and I really hope I don't have to make that decision because I want to continue to be able to say I don't pay secondary prices. But this one would tempt me. I'd love to know what you think. Part of the question that this came up with was a Friday Sips Live. Should I keep opening these bottles that I get to buy at retail? I mean, I've got uh, Rock Hill Farms. I've got some... Store pick OWAs. I've got uh, some Stag Junior. I've had plenty of Stag Juniors. I love it. It's not a two hundred and fifty or three hundred bottle, and that's what people are paying for it. Should I have just sold this? Should I have not enjoyed it? No. It's for drinking. It's for sharing with friends. It's for enjoying. But holy smoke, bourbon's getting expensive, and I'm getting tempted to sell a few bottles and turn those into four or five bottles or something else. I'd love to know what you think. Are you selling bottles in the secondary? I never have. It's getting pretty tempting. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll never let go of one of these if I get a chance to buy another one.
I'm going to sip this one and enjoy every bit. Let me know what you think. Cheers.